This week on the show, we have musical artist and former Fifth Harmony member, Allie Brooke. Hello and welcome. Thank you so much for watching. This show is all about giving you insights and showcasing brands that help you to live your best life and give you confidence. As always, I want to kickstart your morning with some motivational advice to help you to feel inspired and energized to start your day. Today, I want to talk about understanding that you should never let someone else put limits on your capabilities or tell you what you can or can't achieve. Whether it's your parents, spouse, or friends, neither of them have the ability to truly dictate or tell you what your unique path should look like. The only person that can decide what's possible is you, because only you and you alone are going to walk down that path and have the ability to take action to make it a reality. Oftentimes, when people tell us that things aren't possible for us, it's a reflection of their own insecurities and limitations. Successful people are confident in their decisions and don't let anyone sway or limit the vision they have for themselves. They stay in their own lane, have laser sharp focus, and take responsibility that they and they alone are responsible for creating their own destiny. As Will Smith quotes in the inspirational movie, The Pursuit of Happiness, don't ever let someone tell you that you can't do something. If you got a dream, you gotta protect it. When people can't do something themselves, they're gonna tell you that you can't do it. If you want something, go get it, period. Stay tuned, coming up after the break. And I wanna talk about your audition for X Factor. Walk us through what was running through your head. I mean, did you ever think that would kind of change the course of your career? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I did, I did not. <laughs> and so, like, going on that, that was, it was so much, like, emotions and so much that kind of went in it you know and it was like my my moment mm -hmm. and um so what it did for me i could not have imagined wardrobe provided by h and m next up on the show we have mexican american pop sensation ali brooke She's a former lead vocalist for the girl group Fifth Harmony, and in 2017, she began to establish herself as a solo artist, collaborating with artists like Tyga, Asap Ferg, and Carlos Santana, to name a few. Now, she's embarked on a new journey in celebration of her Latin roots. Ali, thank you so much for being on the show today. How are you doing? Thank you. I'm doing great. How about you? I'm doing wonderful. I'm so excited to speak with you today. You know, most people know you as a former Fifth Harmony member, but you know, you went solo. There's so much to talk about, but I want to take it back to the beginning. When did you kind of realize your passion for music or when did it get sparked? I I loved music, like just since I can um, remember. Mm -hmm. So I, I just, I loved it, you know? So mm -hmm. I was something that I am, um, that I gravitated to. And I just, it filled me up. Mm, absolutely. And I want to talk about your audition for X Factor. Walk yeah. us through what was running through your head. I mean, did you ever think that would kind of change the course of your career? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I did, I did not. <laughs> and so, like, going on that, that was, it was so much, like, emotions and so much that kind of went in it, you know, and it was like my my moment. Mm -hmm. And um, so what it did for me, I could not have imagined. Yeah, yeah. Did you ever have that innate feeling that this was gonna be your big break? Did you ever imagine that this would unfold the way it did? I, I hoped, you know, yeah. like, I was like, oh, like, let this be it, let this be it. But what it did, I, it was beyond, like, so beyond. And thinking about it, it's just like, oh, uh, I could not have, I could not have imagined, I couldn't have. 
Amazing, amazing. I want to talk about your solo tracks, uh, Mi Musica and Por Ti. Let's talk about your Mexican roots and how it's kind of influenced your musical style. Uh, I have so many influences from uh, Selena to Gloria Stefan um, to Jennifer Lopez. I mean, there's so many, and I have um, being able to integrate kind of those those elements were um, it was something that's important, but also to kind of like make my own. Thing. Mm -hmm. That's I think you can kind of hear it in some in some of my my music, mm -hmm. and whenever I can, I I love to just make music and, and do what I love. Yeah, absolutely. And how was the transition from you know being in a girl group to going solo? Uh, how did you find that transition for yourself? Well, for me, it was something that was I. I really, I really wanted that, and I really wanted, you know, I've wanted to, to make my own music since I can, ah, uh, for as like for so 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 long. Mm -hmm. So when that happened, I was so ready and hope filled and. I was just like, oh, this is like what I wanted because I wasn't, I didn't, I didn't, I wasn't who, I wasn't myself in, mm. in there. And so to be able to have that where I was and I was able to finally do what I wanted, what I loved, it was like, oh, like nothing else. Yeah. And I feel that too. I feel your sense of gratitude and it, it's yeah. amazing that you're you're so grateful for Thank everything that's happened to you and you can feel that and you can feel your passion. Uh, you know, as well yeah. as being an accomplished singer, um, you also wrote a book, Finding Your Harmony. I have the book, by the way, and I love oh, it. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you <laughs> so, so much. Let's talk about what does Finding Your Harmony mean to you? Uh, the book or just that? Oh, like it's just just, just book, that, right? just that, Finding Your Harmony, the title. Like, what, is, what does that uh, mean for you? For me, that just means being fulfilled, being, having that love in your, in what you're doing in your life, in, in what's around you and really being who you want to be and just being so, so just happy and, and content and feeling that serenity that's what it means to me yeah and in the book you talk about staying true to your beliefs you know despite going through difficulties and hard times so let's talk about some of the difficulties that you went through and how did you get through it oh well, there's there was a lot um i think it was just a lot of oof. well there was yeah it was a lot <laughs> but you know facing difficult times and having that faith to know that I'm going to get through it. That's something that I want to tell, to tell people and just knowing that you can get through it. And there is something so just amazing on the other side. You just have to have faith. And, and, um, for me, that is so important and that's what's gotten me through yeah absolutely and we're going to touch base a, a little later about that but i also want to talk about your collab with carlos santana ironically we had him on the show last week such a great guy you did oh. i did mm -hmm. and I we talked him. about the just... universe and spirituality uh the law of attraction oh, yeah. it was actually a very surprising interview it turned it originally it was supposed to be about be about music but it turned into this whole thing about spirituality which was amazing oh. Yeah. He like I have learned so much from him and he is someone who just gives, gives, gives and he he is like he's a spiritual being and he's yeah. someone I wanna be like. Like he is that amazing and brilliant mm -hmm. and he's so full of love. Yeah. And I'm just like I love him. The fact that I got to work with him, I I still can't 
Like, yeah, I know. Let's talk about that collab <laughs> with uh, Carlos Santana. So we did a song together for his album, and it's called Break. Mm -hmm. And this is written by Diane Warren, who I I love her so much. And them two together, I was like, that is, it's, it's so surreal. Mm -hmm. um, and this song is talking about mental health, talking about being there for someone if they break, if they're going through a hard time and knowing that, I, like saying, I'll, um, I will be there for you mm. in a song, yeah. that is it's everything. I feel like music has been so therapeutic during this pandemic. It's the one thing that, you know, you can always put on and you, it makes you feel good despite what's going on, right? <laughs> oh my gosh, yes. And to be a part of the song, this is one of the, my proudest moments is being a part of this song. Yeah, absolutely. And what are you currently working on? What can fans expect? A lot of music and some other I would say other unexpected things and I mean I'm constantly working on music um, but I love that I'm able to do that and I know my fans are going to be so thrilled with what's to come. Ooh, very exciting and last but not least I always like to end the show on a inspirational notes so for our viewers yeah. that you know are not seeing results in their life they're stuck maybe they're not feeling that inspiration because i mean it is hard times with covid what would you say to encourage someone to kind of stuck or just not feeling motivated and not mm. seeing the results in their career what would you say to them to inspire and encourage them well i've been there and it's not fun it is so it sometimes seems like it's um, sometimes too, you know, too much, mm -hmm. but just know, like, just take small steps every day. Know that you can, you can get through it, whatever you're facing. And sometimes we just have to tell ourselves that. We just have to be reminded. And sometimes we won't, uh, we won't believe those words but just taking the steps to each day okay i'm gonna i'm gonna start even if i don't fully i'm gonna start mm -hmm. that is what um has helped me and i know can help so many people um and just to to be don't be so hard on yourself mm -hmm. have compassion on yourself um yes don't be so hard on yourself and just know you 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 can get through whatever you're going through um mm -hmm. and i hope that helps someone you just have to take those steps absolutely i think we've all had those moments where we feel stuck especially during uh, these times yeah. right now and i think that's great advice you know just taking small steps because when you take the first step it turns into the second and then eventually you get momentum right so i, I it I does it does and um, sometimes if that's what you can do, that's, that's enough. And, um, you, there's so much for you. I want someone to know that there's so much for you. Exactly. The world is your oyster. Well, Ali, thank you so much for being on the show today. Thank taking the you. time, making this happen. Congratulations on all your success. I wish you even more abundance and success. And we hope to have you back again soon. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, oh, thank you so much. I, uh, I just, yes, just thank you so much. <laughs> Tag TV is available on Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Apple and Android TVs, as well as on Apple and Android phones. Watch us live through YouTube and Facebook. Hey, you can fly higher than the sky.